Today, the Pentagon said the U.S. and Russia are discussing security at the Sochi Olympics. The games will be held near a region where Islamic terrorists have fought for independence from Russia. Dean Reynolds reports that some Americans have already decided that Sochi is not for them, including a family with an emotional tie to the Winter Games. How many kids do you have? Five. In Wisconsin, Bob yep. Souter was looking forward to seeing his son play for the uh, U.S. Olympic boys. hockey team. But concerns about security in Sochi are keeping him home. Everything is security, security, and, uh, you know, it's just too bad that it takes away from, you know, the athletics and the, and the sports and stuff. His son, Ryan Souter, is a star defenseman for the Minnesota Wild in the National Hockey League and will play for Team USA. But Ryan made it clear that he preferred his wife, his two children, and his parents stay away. It's definitely a concern. I look forward to, to going to the Olympics and being part of it. Uh, you, you hear all these stories about different things, and it's definitely a concern. Is there something that is lost because of that? It just makes it maybe not as, as fun that you have to worry nowadays. Ryan Suter's Minnesota teammate Zach Parisi has also told his family to skip Sochi. I mean, it's nerve-wracking, that's for sure. Um, you see that stuff going on, it, uh, it, it's not very comforting. Bob Suter was a member of the U.S. team in 1980, which memorably defeated the Russian favorites in the game that came to be known as the Miracle on Ice. Today, at the ice rink he runs in Middleton, Wisconsin, he said he's sorry there will be no reunion with his old Russian foes. It would have been nice to see him, but another time. Now, Scott, Bob Suter says that if Team USA and his son are poised to win the gold medal in Sochi, he might reconsider his decision to stay home. And the games are due to start February 7th. Dean, thanks very much.